Blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is June 24, 2023, and today we celebrate the solemnity of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Luke chapter 1, verses 57 to 66 and verses 80. Today, we celebrate the birth of the precursor. John the Baptist. He was instrumental in preparing the way of uh, the Messiah. He was the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth. And the name John means God is gracious. The name Zechariah, on the other hand, means the Lord has remembered. God remembers. And the name Elizabeth meaning my God is abundance. As a point of reflection today, what's the birth of St. John the Baptist is trying to tell us? What's the message of the nativity of uh, the precursor? Number one, his birth is telling us that nothing is impossible with God. The birth of John the Baptist is a living proof, a living testimony that God answers our prayers. It is a concrete evidence that God never denies the longings and the desires of our hearts. Friends, It also reminds us that the prayer of old people is effective prayer. Zechariah and Elizabeth, they were old, but God loves old people. Second, the birth of uh, St. John the Baptist tells us also to live in simplicity to live in humility, and to live in honesty like John the Baptist. Simplicity, because John the Baptist, he was satisfied with what the nature provides. Humility, because he decreased and gave way to the Lord. And he said, I must decrease, he must increase. And honesty, because he never tolerates immorality. And John the Baptist, his birth is reminds us of our mission. And what is our mission? Like John the Baptist, we have to point people to God, to bring people to God, not to ourselves, to prepare the way of the Lord and to teach people the knowledge of salvation. Let me end my reflection with three R. R, R, R. The birth of John the Baptist gives us joy, you know, gives only joy not only to his parents but also to his neighbors and to his relatives. And what's the first R? Rejoicing. It gives joy to his parents and to the people around his family. It's good to ask ourselves today. Are the people around you happy that you were born? Is your presence a magnet of joy? Do you bring joy? Are your neighbors, are your relatives, are your workmates, are people around you proud to have you? Why people rejoice of the birth of John the Baptist? For three reasons. Because he was simple, he was humble, and he was honest. If you are simple, if you are humble, and if you are honest, you will always be the source of joy. And second R, it tells us of the purpose of his birth. Why do you think you exist? Why are you here? And the second R stands for reason. Of your birth. For John, the reason for his birth, his mission, is to prepare the way of the Lord. That's why I keep on telling that he is the precursor. The reason is to encourage people to repent, to tell people to change, to reform their old ways, to change their bad habits, to transform. And his reason, the reason of his birth was 
He was the voice in the wilderness asking people to repent. And this is also the, the challenge for all of us to be the prophet of repentance, to tell people to renew their lives, to turn from their wicked ways and turn to the Lord. And finally, the final art, the final art, his birth was the greatest reward to his parents. His birth was a reward, a gift to his old parents. Because having a child is a greatest gift from God. Having a child is a greatest blessing from on high. Friends, protect your child. Because all of us are wonderfully made by God. Like John the Baptist, be simple, be humble, and be honest. If you like this reflection, if you are touched by this reflection today, kindly share it with others so that many will be blessed.